Arriving at petrol stations with empty soft drink bottles and containers and leaving with litres of fuel. The instability in Egypt has heightened Gaza's own sense of insecurity and people have started hoarding cheap petrol and diesel that's smuggled in from Egypt. We don't have our own products. We don't have fuel. We are under occupation. We are besieged from everywhere. So, thanks to Egypt, we can at least smuggle in fuel from the tunnels. Almost everyone in Gaza buys Egyptian fuel because it's a third of the price of Israeli fuel. But in the early days of Egypt's crisis, the petrol smuggling trade ground to a halt and fuel stations closed. First of all, what happened in Egypt affect Gaza direct. The first three or four days, uh, you know, the transportation from uh, Cairo or Alexandria or Suez to El Arish and to Rafah was impossible because of security reasons. Petrol smugglers say they are now back in business and they hope Egypt's problems won't disrupt the cross-border trade. The three fuel supply tunnels in Rafah stopped for almost a week since the instability in Egypt started. We have only one tunnel. Our supply has now started again. We smuggle between 80 and 100,000 liters per day. The smuggled fuel ends up in one of these containers very close to the border. We're only about 100 meters from Egypt. Now you can see from here it's piped into tankers and these tankers transport the fuel all over Gaza. Despite this, people in Gaza are still worrying about the situation in Egypt and their dependence on its fuel. Our people in Gaza have uh, the mentality of the crisis all the time. They're fearing from any crisis. They think if any, uh, if, uh, if the matters in Egypt going more hot, may the border will be closed. Trade and tunnels connect Gaza to Egypt. And while the fuel may be flowing now, People are not taking the risk of it running out. Nicole Johnston, Al Jazeera, Gaza.